Morning Meditation, Friday, July 14th, 2023. Insecurities. We all have them. They're deep inside of you or they're right in front of your face. What do you do with them? Do you try to hide them? Do you try to ignore them? Well, let me encourage you not to do that. Confront them. Deal with them. Why? Because our insecurities will hold us back from being the true self that God has created us to be as new creations. What do I mean by that? When your life revolves around the thoughts and ideas of others, it controls you. Your mind, as it's being renewed, is to be thinking God's thoughts about you. The old man has died. It is far gone. There's a new man that has been resurrected, and it is who you are now in Christ. And so those insecurities, that old man, those thoughts in the past, those people that uh, maybe you feel like oppressed you or talked bad about you and said all sorts of things about you, you name it, those things, those moments, those events don't define you anymore. And so we need to confess these insecurities to God and say, God, forgive me for letting my past control me, help me to see myself in you, because that's where I'm at. I'm in Christ. And so, yes, you have insecurities. You need to look to Christ. What do I mean by that? I'm not just saying some spiritual goo kind of stuff. I mean, look to Christ and die to self. Those insecurities that you have need to be confronted with the reality of who you are via the word of God. And so what does God say about your new identity? What does God say about the reality of a new creation in Christ? And how do you live that out now in light of your insecurities? And how do you die to self in these areas by confronting yourself where you're weak, where you have fallen short, and where you need to grow? And by faith, growing by doing the things that God calls you to do, living by faith, trusting in Christ, and putting in the effort to die to self. So that's all I have for you today. Insecurities. Don't let them control you. Don't let them define you. Let your new identity in Christ be the reality you walk in every day as you're renewing your mind, believing that His work is sufficient on your behalf. All right, y'all. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you have a great Lord's Day. Till next time, grace and peace.